Hello everyone and welcome to MATLAB and Simulink tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to properly save Simulink graphs as regular MATLAB figures. The main motivation for creating this video tutorial comes from the fact that Simulink graphs generated by using Simulink scopes, such as the scope that you can see over here, have black backgrounds with colored thin lines and weakly visible fonts on the black surface. That is, these graphs are often not properly formatted and such they should not be directly included in engineering reports and scientific articles. Consequently, it is necessary to learn how to export Simulink graphs as regular MATLAB figures such that we can improve the graph quality and such that we can create nice and visible graphs that are publishable. Here is the brief overview of this video lecture. First of all, we will construct the simple control system consisting of a proportional controller and a transfer function. Then we are going to include a scope and then we are going to plot the output and the reference signal on the same graph. And here it is. After that, we are going to export this graph as a regular MATLAB figure and we are going to modify this graph. We are going to change the background color, we are going to change the font size, we are going to change the color of fonts and we are going to do several other adjustments. So let's immediately start. Okay, let's first create a simple control system. Double click here and search for transfer function. Then let's expand this transfer function block, double click on the transfer function and let's adjust the transfer function coefficients. Over here in the denominator, let's type 1 and 0 0.5. And over here you can see a simple first order transfer function. Next, let's add the proportional controller. To add the proportional controller, double click over here and search for a gain. Let's expand this block, place it over here, double click and put for example the gain as 5. Click OK. Then we need a summation block. Double click here and search for sum. And here it is. Let's enlarge this block, double click, change the plus to minus and let's connect this part and this part over here. Good. Next let's introduce a feedback and finally let's introduce a step or a reference signal. Double click here and search for step. Here it is. Let's double click on step. As a step time let's assume zero seconds and click on OK and connect this port to the output of the step signal. Next, let's introduce a MUX block. Double click here. We're introducing the MUX block since we want to plot several lines on the same graphs. So let's connect this port to the reference, this port to the output, double click over here and search for scope. Here's the scope and connect this part. Next, let's run the simulation. To run the simulation, click over here on simulation and click on run and keep the default settings. And to see the simulation results, simply click here and you should see the results. Of course, since we are only using a proportional controller, we are going to have a steady state error. To eliminate this steady state error or to minimize it, you can double click here and introduce a gain, for example, 15. Click OK, click Run again, and double click here. And you can see that the steady state error is smaller. Next, let's decrease the stop time to 5 seconds and let's run again. And here it is. Now, let's analyze this graph. Well, if you want to introduce or include this graph in a scientific article or a professional engineering report, this graph cannot be published. I mean, you can publish it, however, the graph or the paper will look really bad. And I have seen a number of scientific articles 
directly doing print screen and just cutting the graph and including in the paper. The paper looks really bad. The lines will not be readable and plus you're going to have a black surface and on this black surface you're going to be going to have colored lines and this is not a good practice. Consequently, let's learn how to export this graph as a MATLAB file or as a MATLAB graph and let's modify this graph and improve it such that it becomes publishable. Next, we explain how to export this graph as a regular MATLAB figure. To do that, click on File and click on Print to Figure. And here it is. Next, let's save this graph as a regular MATLAB figure. Click on File, Save As, and let's save it as Untitled.fig and click on Yes. Next, we explain how to modify this graph. First of all, let's change the background and the foreground colors. To do that, click over here, then click over here. That is between the graph and the edge. That is click on the foreground, do the right click and click on Open Property Inspector. And over here, I will move this menu such that you can see what is being modified. First of all, find this option Color and Styling click on foreground color and select white and do the same thing for the background color and here it is now you can see that the background color as well as the foreground color colors are changed good next let's make a few additional adjustments first of all let's increase this font size and let's add it to 14 for example you will not immediately see this change However, later on, we are going to change the fonts on X and Y axes. Okay, here you have some additional options that you can change. However, let's not play with these options for the time being. Next, click over here. And as you click over here, you will see that something changed. Now you're adjusting the graph properties. And first of all, let's change the font size. For example, let's keep this 14. And here it is, magic happened. You can see that the font is increased and now you can clearly read the X and Y axes. Good. Here you can adjust the font weights. However, we are not going to do that. Next, let's adjust the colors. Click here on box and styling and over here, click on this icon and change the color to white and here it is now it looks much much better since we changed the actual color now the graph is white the background is white and this is what we want next let's increase the line thickness click on this line and increase the line width for example you can set to 3 and now that line is much visible. Then, oops, let me close this. You can click on this line. Then again, let's select three. And now the line is also visible. And let's change this line since yellow color is not good, not clearly visible. And here it is. Next thing that you can change is the font color. Namely, you can see that the fonts are gray. That is, they are light gray and they are not clearly visible. So let's change the font colors. To change the font color, make sure that this cursor is pressed, then click on the graph and over here find the rulers. Then scroll all the way down and find X color and Y color. And over here change the color. For example, if you like the blue color, you can select this color and you can do the same thing for the Y axis. And here it is. Now the colors are changed. Then over here you can also change the size of the graph and you can do several other adjustments such as inserting a legend. So click here insert and legend and over here you have the legend. You can modify and change the position of the legend as well as modification of the size of the legend block. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.